Welcome everyone, I'm Joe DeLongware and these are my top five trends for the 2022 lawn care season for DIYers out there. So let's get started. So today's video will be my top five list for things that I think a DIYer or a lawn care person that generally a homeowner will see a trend for this year. Uh, this is just my own personal list. I know I've seen, believe me, I've seen other videos out there of top five trends as well. But this is just my own personal list, like I said. And if you enjoy anything, please comment below. Let's have a little communication back and forth. What you think you might see as a trend as well, or if there's anything that you like about the video or anything of the, of the top trend list that I have in the comment section below. So this list is gonna be in no particular order, so let's just jump right into it. One of the big things that I see coming for this year and in the future with different laws that in different states, especially California, is battery-powered equipment. So battery-powered equipment, it's everywhere. We know, you, you go to Home Depot, you go to Lowe's, Ace Hardware, you go down the lawn care aisles, you see battery-powered equipment everywhere now and hedge trimmers and weed whackers, mowers, you name it. Uh, I was lucky enough at the end of last season that lightly a new up-and-coming battery-powered equipment company sent me out a blower and a hedge trimmer to try out. They were 40-volt systems. I was actually generally very surprised at how well they did. I've never used any kind of battery-powered equipment in my past, just power tools like saws and drills, things like that. Never any garden or, or uh, lawn care equipment, things like that. And I was actually very surprised. I still think, honestly, battery-powered equipment has a long way to come. Uh, definitely with that 40-volt system, the battery did drain pretty quickly, especially in the blower. Um, this past week, I've been very fortunate and very lucky to find a Toro electric lawnmower. It is a 60-volt system, uh, which is Toro. That's what they're known for is their 60-volt system. So I will be trying that out this year. I got it on clearance at Home Depot for only 185 bucks. It was a steal. Um, so that's awesome. I'm going to use that electric lawnmower this year. I do like electric equipment. I do have to honestly say that when it comes down to not having to deal with gas and the fumes and stuff like that, you can go out. You don't have to come in after doing something with a gas-powered equipment and not smelling like gas or the, the, the smoke, the fumes, and things like that. I think is an awesome thing with electric and battery-powered equipment. So the next thing that I see trending for this year is definitely fertilizer prices going up and increasing. And I don't know exactly how much it's going to go up. I've seen on a couple DIY websites that sell fertilizer, their price did definitely go up this year. It didn't go up much, but it did go up from last year. Uh, the supplier that I will be using this year, his price did increase only a couple bucks from the winter time to now uh, when I go to purchase it from him. So there is going to be, I think, some sort of increase, especially inflation. If you guys don't watch the news or if you do watch the news, you'll know inflation is a, it's real, guys. It's at 7.5% right now. Uh, it might not affect in all industries, but it is infecting a lot of industries. So inflation is real, guys. Price increases are real. We are definitely going to see that at some point this year if you haven't seen it already. So the next thing that we are definitely going to experience, I know especially in my area, is there is going to be some sort of a grass seed shortage. When I went to go visit Tuckahoe Turf Farm in the fall of 2021, I got to meet Alan Carter. He was an awesome professional. He, I asked him a bunch of questions. Go check out that video if you haven't yet. It's an awesome it's it's an awesome video of a tour of the whole farm it's there it's over 800 acres right in hamilton new jersey if you guys don't know they supply a lot of professional teams in the northeast uh, awesome farm awesome experience but i got to ask them about their their seed supply for the following year he did say they did acquire a good amount of seed of course their supplier is mountain view seed they did acquire enough of it for the springtime um, but my fear and his fear as well would be, you know, how much are they going to have, you know, in the following fall time? And so what I suggest you do, and this is what I did last year, was I got my seed early. If you're going to do a fall overseed, especially in fall 2022, don't be afraid to get that seed in, say, July, 
uh, or you know early July. I mean, you, if you, as long as you have it stored in a dry location and it's not going to get wet, you should be fine. So think ahead for next year. Uh, they did have a mediocre crop. That's what he said to me. So the supply of this grass seed, especially Mountain View grass seed, you guys know I had great success with it last year. It's a blue tag certified grass seed. I, I absolutely love this seed. They plant it right at the farm. That was one of my keys in it. I wanted to buy local to me at, because I love supporting the local turf farm, Tuckahoe Turf Farm to me. So the next thing that I see trending in my own personal opinion for next year are gardens. I saw a lot of garden channels pop up last year. Uh, I, I subscribe to a few, not a ton. I'm not a huge gardener myself. My wife, she loves gardening. You guys know we have three really big raised beds in our backyard. We've had them for about three years now. We love getting out there, gardening. I, I've seen a lot of channels start this past uh, springtime last year, 2021, and into the summertime. I've even seen a lot of lawn care guys, a lot of their channels get into some sort of gardening. Uh, so it, that's one of the things I think that's going to be bigger this year, uh, especially if people are still afraid to get out of their house still and go and, you know, go on vacation and explore, you know, people are still staying home, you know, they're, they're going to want to, I, I've seen people want to garden more and grow their own crop and it's not a bad idea. We love doing it. Like I said, at my house, my wife, uh, uh, she just loves it. We do everything from seed. We plant everything in our raised beds. I have drip irrigation. Uh, you guys saw me install it or repair actually a couple things last year on, a, on one of my videos that I did. And it's just a really fun po project, especially if you have young kids at home like I do. They love going out there. They love just picking the different tomatoes because obviously in Jersey, Jersey tomatoes are prevalent. That's our thing. We love Jersey tomatoes. And we just love picking the things off the vine, uh, the pickles, uh, cucumbers, things like that. Uh, cherry tomatoes the kids just love picking that stuff so it's a great activity for a uh, family young kids at home so i definitely see that being a bigger trend even going into 2022 this year so this last trend i could see it already being controversial for this year i've seen a couple of videos out there you guys have seen probably a couple of my videos on instagram and tiktok of this subject but the last trend that i see being very popular for 2022 is turf paint so turf paint is already very popular in the professional uh, turf management industry. I've noticed it a lot this year watching football. It's really amazing what this stuff does. It's very big on golf courses, believe it or not, as well. And I, I could see it going to be coming a trend as well in the DIYer and the homeowner in the, uh, industry as well. Like I said, I've made a couple spoof videos already on TikTok and on Instagram, and I've seen it already on a couple YouTuber uh, pages as well doing their own lawn this past winter. And honestly, it's it's pretty amazing what this turf paint can do. And there's there's already I I hate to see it become a negative trend. A couple people have been calling it. You know you're. Uh, the, the word out there right now is a fake natty in it and you know if you want to be a fake natty at the end of the day go ahead so go ahead and fake natty it guys uh, these are just my five trends that i see for the diyer and homeowner for this upcoming year if you have any that i think i missed uh put them in the comment section below or if there's anything that i could have added on to what i've said that were the top five for me uh, let's go ahead and have a conversation back and forth in the comment section uh, below. Uh, I want to engage more with you guys for this year. So please, I'm going to encourage everyone, comment below if there's anything that you think that I missed or I could have expanded on or just don't agree with me in general. Please put it in the comment section below and we can have a conversation back and forth either on YouTube in the comment section below or you can DM me on Instagram as well at the.lawnwarrior. So this is my first video for this year for the 22 Lawn Care Journey. I really hope you guys enjoyed it at home. And again, this is just my five trends that I see for myself. It's my opinion. Everyone's is going to be different at the end of the day. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this year is going to be an awesome year. I am super excited for the 2022 Lawn Care Journey. So like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.